It has been a very long time since I've been around here, but hello everybody! It's me, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, I am going to be taking a look at the brand new Easter Lumi they've released. Thorego. Now, I have not been in LL in quite a little bit, but that doesn't mean that my skill has left me, if I had any to begin with. But, today I'm going to be using a smart and nimble one, though I really think this thing is going to excel in Bane of Haste. I didn't really want to have a whole showcase committed to just Bane of Haste, because that's a specific strategy. When I showcase things, I like to make it so you can just plop them on your team and hopefully they'll do something. This is probably not going to be the case, so you could probably use like a, ver a very smart, frail, sluggish one if you really wanted to. But, with this... I have a smart and nimble with boots and I like the boots because it just makes us go faster and it makes the game a lot easier to play and it players pairs really well with the ability anomaly during battle when this looming stats should should increase they decrease and vice versa so essentially it's contrary from Pokemon and uh, it's just anomaly you know and here we have mud spatter jet stream dark surge and the new move draco beam bombard the opponent with a burst of ancient energy using all your might this will harshly lower your range attack uh-uh because of our anomaly we get plus two essentially doubling our attack stat which i think that would go up to 334 i think might have the math no 320 no it's 300 yeah i'm right i think um but regardless i am fairly excited to try this thing out um it's actually not even a stab move which is kind of surprising so the problem is once we click it we're kind of stuck in it so we need to make sure we kill all the metal light the metal types the light types all those things that can resist our ancient stab and once we kill those we should be doing pretty good and then we have jet stream as well which is a very solid stab and then dark surge as well and mud spatter just here so we can hit metal types like seer knight oxidrake and I'll hit electric types such as Halvantic and El Iguana, which you're never really going to be able to hit that hard anyway. And then here uh, we have, it's funnily enough, I think I put this in the wrong thing. Hold up. And that is much better. But yeah, if you were curious, I put it in health and not energy. This is just an extremely basic 200, 200, 100. And that's a perfect energy stat to where if it goes to 200 or 100 energy, it'll get 250 at level 50. It doesn't show it right now because it's just bug. I have to like reload it for it to show. Um, and here, range attack, 200, 200, just simple. With this speed stat, we actually are able to outspeed Nimble Snagulp by one speed point. So anything above 109 speed uh, as a base stat, uh, or yeah, you are not going to be able to outspeed. So you're really relying on those speed ties. But the whole idea is you're gonna, you're just gonna click your Draco Beam and just go hog wild for there. That's pretty much the whole idea. But yeah, I'm excited. Hope you guys are as well. I'm also going to be trying out a Draco Beam Dorogo with Ace, and I'm just so excited to give that a try. I think it's going to be busted. But, yeah. Hope you guys enjoy. And without further ado, let's hop into the first battle. Okay. Here we go into the first battle. It has been a, a hot, hot minute. Um, Let's see. This shouldn't be too bad, though. Bro, why does wrestling go crazy? What? Wrestling just goes in. All we really got to do is just kill the two flying types, which we have threats to it. I got the... Alvin here. It's so weird not putting equipments on my things. I just feel like I want to put equipments on everything, but I just, I don't need to, you know? It's such a weird feeling. Oh, uh, okay. Um, oh, right. I, I have to actually pick my stuff. Oh, this has been a while. Uh, wrestling, Dorogo, Dorego. Um, can bring you, and I'm very worried about the Mocho. So, I shoot i don't really know what to do against the mojo i guess just go into tyrex and just hope that a plus one a plus one boomerang won't kill me so i just need to go into mo into tyrex the second i see it snag goop versus my unfortunate <laughs> festifer lead okay this is gonna be fine um well i think i just ice hammer and hit it you know i brought this to deal i'm just gonna hit it why not let's see what happens it's been a while i need to learn these damage calcs again but yeah, we're going to try to kill this, and we're going to try to go into our Dorego and just go start going for Draco Meteors. They Muck Blast. That shouldn't do that much. Yeah, we take almost nothing. 
and we do get poisoned unfortunately which does kind of suck for us but we're gonna be able to get a very very nice big hit on this stag goop maybe even one shot it if we get enough damage and we do beautiful one shot there on the stag goop a very overconfident one that is so what would they go into now the thing about doodle world is that I don't want to compare this. It's just me compared to my head. Like, you're able to see, like, your opponent's Lumion or Doodles, like, at the top right of their screen. But here you have to memorize it. Which, I always forget to screenshot things. So, I don't really know. This is just going to hit me really hard. And I can't really stop it. I'd have to go Dorego into it. Like, in Jetstream. I'll do that. So, this can end up dying. It's fine. You can end up going down, Festifer. You did great. You went crazy. You went crazy. All right, he's aggressive, so he may or may not be the uh, freaking, I don't know. Let's go Dorego, though, and let's go for our Jetstream. Our strongest stab, Jetstream comes out, and we take down the Cannabo just like that. The good thing about our 250 energy is that it just allows us to use like a lot of our moves pretty freely, which is nice. I think we get to use two Draco Meteors, two Dark Surges, and one Jetstream. And they actually go straight into Mocho, and we know immediately just to go straight into Tyrex. We have the like uh eleanor option too that might have been a little bit of a better option though i don't really want to take two um i don't want to take a frosty mana boom bash I'd rather just take a, a boom bash they're probably just gonna they did go for the frosty that's fine that's really good for me though i can heal up a little bit and now i'm gonna go for my steel crusher i think it's just my be my best option say boom bash shouldn't even be able to yeah we don't even get two ko that's really good Steel crusher comes out and we get half health and mocho beautiful okay i feel like now we could probably spam our draco meteor we just have to kill this mocho first boom bash comes out all right 64 damage huge and down goes the mocho beautiful so we can probably now sack off the tyrex and go for our draco meteors we'll see we'll see how strong this thing can get this thing's gonna be a uh, little strong just just a little bit slightly Okay, so as they go right into that, that's something that I was trying to save my other guy for. But I guess I can just go to Rego and try to break it with my Draco Meteors. So, best thing I can do is click Steel Crusher. Unless they tempt. If they tempt, that'd be annoying. I do go into, I end up going down there, but that's fine. That's actually a very quick Gargola. Why is that quick? All right. Let's go to Dorego. And let's go for it. Actually, thinking about it now, having Dorego pairing with theo is not the worst idea in the planet because then you can like pick which or not which if you want anomaly or the other one nice draco beam here it comes that's one of the saddest things that has happened to me today draco beam here it comes oh no oh that's so sad i would have been at plus four right now and he would have been a dead golem i mean that's so sad uh, I'd rather not. I would really rather not. I'm just gonna baffle. Go back into the thingy. I'd rather not. I love how you can also baffle to clips now. It's really freaking good for Dorogo. Where I can just, like, safely click it and get out of there. Alright, I'm gonna go back into Dorego. Dorogo, Dorego. God, it's confusing. Was he driving? Now they're out of energy, so I'm actually gonna hope I get the switch back into Theo. As I go into Eleanor, which does really suck, because I can't really hit this thing at all. Um, yeah, I can't really hit this thing at all. Best option is to go back into Dorego. That's my best option. And then, um, I could rest. You know, I could. I'm trying to think. Because I can Draco Meteor 100%, right? Or I could even, I think I just Dark Surge twice, actually. That might be my option. Let me see. You have two left. I have three. Yeah, and if I end up going down with the Rego, I can go into Theo and Anomaly. And that could be huge, actually. Nice. Good damage. Deathstream does come out. I don't end up getting flinched, which is nice. Doesn't this thing have... Uh, what, I forget what this thing's ability is. I think it's a normal ability. It's the Immunize. It's Immunize. That's what it is. Immunized. Alright, I get to go for my Dark Surge. Will they Pain Split? They wouldn't Pain Split. Boom. Almost taking down the Gargolem defense there. I'm going to rest. I, I can go down here. I actually do want to die here. I could have killed the Gargolem there. Maybe going for a flail. But I don't think I actually would have killed. Now. Here we go. We get to see how strong Theo gets to be here. Now I get to go into Theo. 
and go for the Draco Beam. And then we Draco Beam here, which is incredible for us. Boom, and now we have plus two. Amazing. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. As they go into a Teclipse that is Circadian. Which means our Slapdown, fairly strong move to click here. <laughs> As we slap down for half of its health. W, definitely going to get Gluminous Roared here though, but that doesn't really matter. So we can just go straight into with a Russ Owen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And now, the game is over. Gorgeous, as I can go for a beautiful pep jab to guarantee this victory. Because if it ends up being dodged Eclipse, I mean, eh, it doesn't really matter. And we punch the Eclipse down. And that is a victory. Well, that was a pretty good game. Let's hop on the next one. All right. And here we go into the next battle. I'm going to go and actually screenshot the team real quick so I can actually have like a reference of what I need to murder, you know, just so I have it there. Um, okay. So, what are we doing here? We're of course going to be bringing you, um, Draco Meter is going to be a little bit of a problem because the Stratosaur exists. I feel like I want to get Ice Wheel Traps up. Actually, I got to, if I do this and this, if I do this actually, they could maybe want to go Chartiki. I can chase down with you and get huge damage off the Chartiki. It's going to be huge. Mm. And then I feel like I want to go Festifer. <clears throat> and after that, I think the best option is to go Wrestling and just try our best to take down the Gargolem defense. And we are going to struggle a little bit this game because we are bringing a lot of offense. But honestly, let's just see if it works out. As I go Wrestling. We don't really have a counter to that, do we? <laughs> Not really. <laughs> um. Yeah, our counter to that doesn't really exist right now. So, if it's boots, I think we end up dying, you know? And beating fire types isn't really on our forte here. I feel like if I double, if I go Umbrat, I can risk the chance he goes into Chartiki that he's not boots, you know? I'm gonna do that. Yeah, I'm going into Umbrella. Let me see if this works. Because if he goes into Chartiki thinking that I can outspeed with Dark Burst, um, this could work out very well for me. Oh, as they go into it. Do they go into Chartiki? Huge! Okay. That's a W. That's a W. We get to chase down here and get guaranteed damage. Surprisingly went for the Fire Breath. I really... Maybe he just wanted to kill the Umbrat. I am in, I'm going to go end up going down there, though. But that's honestly totally fine. We get to... That was a very, very double... That was a good exchange for me, I think. Because killing Chartiki is what we need to do right now. I assume they're just going to go for the switch into their uh, Stratosaur. I'd assume. We're a very brawny Dark Essence. We could have just... I could have just Raging Tackled and I could have killed the Chartiki. I probably should have just done that because he had no Dark Switch in. Probably should have kept that thing around. It would have been a lot better now that I'm thinking about it. So if I look at his team, really he's only switching his Buzzle in. Yeah, I really should have kept it around looking at it now. I mean, I guess you also have Nevermare, but you don't want to take that damage. That's not damage you want to take. We get a Dark Surge, though, which is nice. I don't really know what they're going to go into. Stratosaur is my best bet, what they would go into. Hmm. Okay. I don't really know what to do against this. My... I don't really know. I guess I can go into you. But then if they have Gargolem Defense, you know? They have everything that can counter me. So I could, like, switch, maybe. I feel like I can go into you, and I th I could be fine. I could try this. Though I'm just worried about that Chartiki coming back in. Being able to click moves that, it, that I don't want it to click. Like, Rejuvenate or Photosynthesis. I don't want that thing to heal. So, let's see. As they magnify. Okay. So, they're going to go straight up for the kill on Festifer. I'll just Timber Thrash then. I, sh I think I live this. I think I can live one hit. Yeah. I can live a hit. Timber Thrash comes out. Gets a lot of incredible damage off of the Stratosaur. 
I'm gonna Icicle Trap if I can. I severely doubt I'm actually gonna be able to get it up. Because he's always gonna Metal Blast here and just take me down. But that's totally fine. That works out, like, decently well in my favor. Because I guess now I can reveal if he has Nevermare or not. Because I can just go into you. Now, I'm going to click my Blaze Punch. I don't think this would be a fast Stratosaur, so I'm fine with clicking this. It was a fast Stratosaur. Who could have guessed the offensive Stratosaur would go crazy? We still have the Draco Meteor, man. There's still a chance if we kill the Stratosaur, we can just go Draco Meteor and hope it works. That is the best option right now. And if they kill... I, as soon as I go the Eggman, I just gotta hope that my Draco Meteor can do enough to Stratosaur at plus four, probably. That's annoying, though, that the Stratosaur outsped the Wrestling. I really wanted to kill it. Okay, nice. He actually sacks it off. That's perfect. Sacking that off is really good in the, in the end for me. Honestly, what I need to do now, I think there is a very good chance I could come back from this. Honestly. Because we killed Stratosaur. So he's revealed three things he has. Most likely it's Nevermare Buzzlin. Yeah, you're going to photosynthesis and I know you're going to do that. I can catch him in a Deja Vu actually. Wait, photosynthesis right now. Photosynthesis right now. That's fine. I can I can I can deal with going down here. Okay, now is all in. It's all in with the Draco Meteor. Here we go. Can the Dorego pop off? Or will it be game? Though I, maybe I could have gone for the jet stream. Cause maybe Jet Stream is a better option, but Draco Meteor is the the move I want to click, so. The fact we didn't even break half on the Chartiki with a chase down on from Umbrats, what's kind of making me sad. The whole idea is to bait in the Chartiki with Umbrat, then try to kill um, kill it with Chase Down, but I guess I should have just clicked Rage and Tackle every time there. Because it's just damage. Hold up! Wait a minute! Wait, 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 hold on. Hold on, 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 hold on. Hold your horses. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. The comeback of the century. Please hit. Please hit. Oh! Oh my god! Wait, shoot, wait. You're dead? You're dead, he has two left. He has wrestling and one more. If he goes... Gargolem defense, I get to um, rest, or I know I get to wait. Hold up, wait, 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 wait. It's Buzzling. Shoot, I'd have to live one of the hits. But no, I have to wait here. I have to wait here, I think. I have to. I have to wait. I have to. Then I have to hit my two Draco Meteors and I win. Oh, that's it. That's it. Now, if I was secret ability, <laughs> I go crazy. Okay. I have to hope this is plus plus four kills. I have to hope the plus four kills. If it doesn't kill, it's over. Dorego? Oh my god. No way. Ain't no way. I refuse. I completely refuse. Are you boots? Oh my god. <gasps> oh my god! I don't understand what just happened. No, my head hurts. Um This This doesn't really seem like uh like 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 a team. 
Okay, and here we go into the next battle. Now, this is a pretty decent battle. Actually, a very, very, very good battle for Garego. All we need to do is actually take down the Seer Knight, and we can go absolutely ham. This is also an incredibly good game for, a, for our wrestling. Paired with this, paired with this. This trio can probably win the game immediately. We're going to try to win off of that. I think that could work pretty well. Um, Protagon is also very solid here. I can definitely also bring Protagon. And then the last one is really up to, like, who I would want to lead off with. Like, I feel like I could get... I want to get Icicle up, but there's two of these guys, right? But if it's a terrifying Lee, I think I'm going to go Tyrex. No. I feel like Umbrat's more valuable here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. If it's a Seer Knight lead, that's going to be unfortunate. Oh my god, I got the best lead. This lead's crazy. Can you even hear the music? There we go. Alright, well, I'm going to Raging Tackle. You have no switches into this. And you're dead. Nice! Insta-kill on the Colossatrops. Huge! Now, what I'm hoping is that they go into Seer Knight. Yeah, not Seam. Seer. <laughs> A singular letter off. I actually go Tundralin. Okay. So, that is a switch out, and they're probably just going to body crash. Um, I resist it, but then I get hit. Actually, what I'm going to do first is waste his energy for one. Unless he clicks bulk up, then that would be very unfortunate. Okay, good, 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 good. Wasting his energy. Then I Raging Tackle. I feel like I'm just going to go for damage immediately with Umbrat and see what happens. Nice. Very solid damage there on the Tundra for a melee move. Now, my biggest issue here... I'm gonna go Alvin. I feel like my biggest issue is I need to kill the... I need to get the dude man on the field. I need to actually kill the Seer, Seer Knight first. Let me Dark Burst here. I like Dark Burst over Metal Blast. Even though Dark Burst can miss. I just like... I've always liked it that way. Like, you get 70 damage, or you get 105, you know? Like, or you get 0 if it misses. His Karna comes in. What can you switch into this that I would be afraid of? I mean, I can Thunder Strike. You're, you don't die from it, so... Yeah, actually, if I do that, they Mudslide. I can go into the dude after. Let me do this. Let me do this. I've got an idea. i got an idea. If I Thunder Strike here, it's never, it's never gonna kill. Never gonna kill. Pop. Why Palm? What are you... What's the plan? I always Thunderstrike there, man. I don't get that play. That's a weird play. I can just kill it then. Bam! As I actually go Imperior, so I am going to end up going to go down here with Alvin. It's just... Oh, I'm alive. As they are Prankster Barter. Okay. Wait, oh no, I just paralyzed. Okay, wait. You don't have 133 health. I refuse to believe that. I'm gonna energy surge. And I'm, I'm gonna get resentful, but it won't really matter too much. You know, I'm all good. Hmm. Erupted on. So wait, what? They have Fiskarna, Eruptodon. They definitely have Seer, Seer Knight in the back. All right, then I'll energy surge the most damage I can get right now, unless they magnify. Lava slash melee. Okay, interesting. All right. Well, now I can try to see if I can go for my Dracos. Let me see if this will work out. Though I could also go Theo, but I think I'm just gonna go Dorego. Dorego coming in for the Dracos Meteors. Or I could also just jet stream as well. Like, I should be able to kill everything. But the problem is it's the Seer Knight. I don't know. I get hit really hard. I'm going to get jet stream, actually. I think jet stream's a better play. Because I'm able to kill this. Then I get damage on the Seer Knight. And then I can go into Theo for the Anomaly. Though the Theo Anomaly doesn't really matter. I just go... No, I go into uh, wrestling after. I'm worried. Oh, it was Tundralin. I guess I could have just gone for Draco Meteor then. 
Um. Well, then I guess we just go into this. We have to kill it. All right, sick. And the ice hammer comes out. We take no damage whatsoever. Okay. Jeez. Good game. Good, good game. Well, that was... I don't know. Like, wh why did it feel like it was a lot better than I thought it was going to be? Definitely was stronger <laughs> than I thought. But, yeah, I think... I'm very happy with how it performed today. I think it was a very, very strong Lumion, and it's definitely fun. And you could honestly slot it in as a late game cleaner. It's a very solid late game cleaner against slower Lumions. So if you're finding something, if you like kill the faster things, like their Zulongs, their Hunters, and, and their faster threats that can kill you, this thing can do a lot of work. And I'm very happy to actually able to get that late game clean. That makes me super duper happy. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see everyone in the next one. Bye-bye!